everybody. My next guest is a writer on Saturday Night Live. Please welcome very funny comedian Leo Allen. Hello, America. Um, let's keep it together. Um, I'm not really one for self-help books. I don't uh, really like to read them, but because uh, I'm a little skeptical about it, I guess. But uh, recently, I was feeling depressed, and I read one, and the premise of the self-help book was that to make yourself feel better about things when you're feeling down, you should surprise someone every day. That's what they said, surprise someone every day. So I got the author's home address. And uh, one night when he went out, I don't know where he went, but I broke into his house and hid in his bedroom. And when he came back, I jumped out and I was like, ah! I got to be honest, I felt great. <laughs> Helped a lot. Um, so I'm adopted and, uh, <laughs> by way of explanation, and, um, I'm glad my parents were honest with me and took me aside and told me I was adopted, but why every day? Um, I'll never forget the first time, because that was weird. The first time my parents told me adopted, that was weird because um, I was eight and I'd never received a singing telegram before in gym class. And it was a really scary clown. And, um, it was a strange day for everyone in my family because it was also the same day that my parents decided to tell my brother he was gay. And that's rough on a five-year-old. That's, um, uh, there are really good things about being adopted, though. One great thing about being adopted is you know how you go to, say, a family gathering, like Thanksgiving dinner or something, and like three hours into the meal, you're looking around, you're like, there's four generations of bitterness and, and dysfunctionality. And uh, in your mind, you say to yourself, there's no way I can really be related to these people. <laughs> well, when that happens to me, then I go, oh, wait, I'm not really related to these people. <laughs> these Jews are hilarious. <laughs> I'll just have another drink and observe. <laughs> My, you're looking especially beautiful tonight. Cousin Mindy. Uh, so I write stuff on my hands and I get mad at myself because I'm like, I should, ha I should have a better memory. I shouldn't need to write stuff down. It's, it's pathetic. But then a little while ago, I saw a guy walking down the street and he had Van Halen rules tattooed on his bicep. And I felt better about myself because I was like, how forgetful is this guy? What does he do? Does he wake up in the morning and he's shaving in the mirror like, ha la la, ha la, what? Oh yeah! Van Halen does rule! Thank God that in 1982 I got drunk enough to engrave it on my arm forever. And the Van Halen rules guy, he was with his friend who was apparently trying not to forget that a skeleton was riding on a winged horse. What was that guy thinking when he did that? Was he like, hey, man, how does that skeleton get around, man? <laughs> oh, yeah! I gotta go back to the loading dock. <laughs> Tattoos are, are great because uh, they're all about context. You can tell a lot about someone. Like, for instance, if you see a guy who's got a four-inch tattoo of a question mark on his forearm, you might say... I know this guy is naturally inquisitive. But if you see the same guy with a four-inch tattoo of a question mark on his forehead, you might say, I know who killed Batman. It's a little different. I found out something so interesting recently. Maybe some of you know this. I found out that Coca-Cola, this is true, when it first came out, it, ori it, it, it originally had cocaine as an ingredient. That's absolutely true. But as it turns out, so did cocaine sandwiches. <laughs> but just for like the first three weeks and they took it out because people were going crazy at the delis. Can you imagine what it must have been like when Coca-Cola first came out with cocaine in it? People must have been like, have you tried this stuff? I love it. I want more now. I've been drinking it for four days in a row. I tarred my roof. My wife left me. I'm alphabetizing 
everything. Pepsi sucks. Pepsi's for losers. All those Pepsi drinkers with their jobs. And they're sleeping. All right, thanks. Enjoy your weekend in a safe way. Thanks a lot. Hey, Leo, that was great. Yeah, good job. Leo Allen, everybody, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. It didn't work. Uh, I want to thank all my guests. That is our show. Leo Allen, thank you very much. Thank you. Funny man. Thank you. I salute you. Thanks. Big thanks to Shannon Doherty for being here. <laughs> Big thanks to Vin Diesel for being here. That was cool. <laughs> Mr. Jimmy Vimino and the Max Weinberg. Seven stage over last call with Carson Daly. We'll see you on Monday. Have a good weekend. didn't steal any laptop, so you should go. Oh. <laughs> I, could you, you uh, steal, steal a laptop? No. <laughs> it's weird, because the uh, guy that said that he stole the... Well, we did not. Do you th um, think... Maybe that, like, you took it uh, by mistake, or...? No, no, no. Do you want to No. I don't understand the question. Good. Help! Hello! Uh, if you find I can leave my number, and then if you find it, you, just, you know, it call me. Or, uh, more... I'm, I'm listed under Elgato. If it, if you find, it turns up.